we are about to begin the English class. Please, everyone, start the cameras. Good evening everyone. Thank you all of you for being here. Today is Tuesday 12th April 2022. I'm pretty glad to be here once again with you dear students. Well for today class we going to learn more about adjectives. Remember yesterday we started learning about what are adjective and how can we learn from the adjective. So today, once again, we're going to start the class with a very quick review about what are adjectives. So please give a minute, I'm going to share my, my screen. Now, please, before to start the class, let me uh, tell you that it's quite important, you guys, if you have an emergency or something, please send a private message. All right don't forget emergency or something they come up please send a private message another thing please I do respect your privacy but please keep your cameras on it's unpleasant to be here teaching you English but most of the students have the cameras off I don't know why but you know Pretty unusual. Okay. Really? Too much noise? Mucho real? Really? Okay, please give a minute. Give a minute. Now, can you hear me well? Hmm, interested. Oh, really? Okay, give a minute, give a minute. Okay, it's now perfect for you. Yes. It works. Okay, bring it on. I'm sorry, probably it might be my computer or Zoom itself. Zoom has sometimes so auctions. Well, I don't know what's going on. Okay, dear students, I think it's time to start. So for today, for today, we're going to let the two other degrees about the adjective, right? Yesterday, you and me practice, and we learned the concept of definition about what an adjective is. Today, as I said earlier, we're going to learn a very, very quick review about the adjective. Then, we need to practice about the second degree and the third degree of an adjective. Comparative for and superlative for, all right? Oh, oh, by the way, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. For today class, we are going to practice or we're going to let or oh, the class lost one hour, okay? Just from 6.30 up to 7.30. The other 30 minutes, that will be for the other student who hasn't taken the test, all right? 
for those students so be aware okay so it's time to start please give a minute it should be one of this oh there you go let me share my screen again good okay so as I said today once again we're gonna we are going to let a very quick definition the concept what a objective is okay so the first thing we need to understand is this part over here please everyone focus on your screen adjective describe nouns and pronouns period all right remember an adjective give us more information about the noun like the activity that we carried out yesterday same thing but we also can use the adjective with pronouns remember I you he she and so on yesterday you practice remember the activity that we carry out yesterday they you say oh uh, Henry is lazy and uh, stressed remember those uh, that activity is well same so the adjective describe a noun and pronoun take a look all this word did you see here there are adjective brown loud beach happy so an adjective modify of a noun take a look anything that you see touch common nouns so we use an adjective to give it more information take a look the ball teacher handed out the white papers as you can see in this sentence we have an adjective take a look this is the adjective now look this picture no hair so this is the word ball teacher take a look the laptop computer has a blue screen and black screen as you can see we have the adjective blue and black yes those are the adjective look this one the big yellow bus went down to the ground road two adjectives big yellow yes two different adjectives that modify the word bus big yellow bus let's see another example the crazy plane will crash quickly you know the adjective crazy wow take a look another example the big bad dog frequently chase the scared little boys up streets. In this sentence, we have some adjective. Big, bad. bad. You see? Mm -hmm. So those words are the adjective. Now, let me stop here and I'll show you something else. Remember, remember, adjective modify a noun or a adjective give us more information about that noun. Don't forget that an adjective can also words with pronouns. Okay, so give me a minute, I'll show you something else. Oh, come on. Let me share my screen again. I think it's this one. Very good. Okay, so in this part we have three different sentences. The adjective, as you can see, are in blue colors. So I need someone to help me out with this. I'm gonna pick up one more student. Let me see. Mario Tumbaco. Good evening. Could you please read the three sentences for me? Mm 
Mario, can you hear me? Are you there? Well, well. Could you please read the three sentences for me? Mm -hmm. This is a nice number three. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so remember, after for adjectives that comes after the verb, especially the verb to be, we can use some words like the one you see. Let me, let me pick up. I'm sorry for the noise. That's my daughter. She's singing a song. Ginger Castro, thank you. Could you please read the three sentences for me? Uh, Jessica's drawing is so beautiful. Mr. Lee looks very tired today. The dog is extremely fierce. Uh, I am very afraid of it. Okay, thank you very much. So once again, we have the adjective in blue colors. But this time is a little bit different. As you can see, there's no nouns after the adjective. In the spy of that is modified in a pronoun. Okay, so adjective that comes after a verb, especially the verb to be, am, is, and are. For example, in the number one, Jessica drawing is is the verb to be so we can work with the adjective. It's beautiful. In the example that you see on your screen is using a word so. Jessica drawing is so beautiful. And the number two once again is with the verb look. Mrs. Lee looks very tired today. And in the number three, once again, we have the verb to be, is, all right? Let me stop for a while. One, two, three. Okay, let me stop. You tell me, dear student, did you have any questions so far? No questions. Okay, no questions. <laughs> How believable. Okay. Now I'm going to share something else. <coughs> I'm sorry. So please, uh, listen up. Antes de continuar, como les mencioné el día de ayer, pues... Los adjetivos tienen tres grados diferentes, ¿ok? El primer grado es el que estuvimos trabajando el día de ayer, que son grados positivos. En sí, el grado positivo es cómo se escribe el adjetivo. If you say crazy, crazy is an adjective, beautiful, strong, intelligent, smart, all right? So these five examples about the adjective, they are considered positive. Don't forget, el adjetivo posee tres grados. El primero que acabo de decir es el grado positivo. El segundo grado que va a contener, o oh, perdón, que tiene los adjetivos es el grado comparativo. Comparative form. And the number three is the superlative. All right? Three different degrees. Positive, comparative, and superlative. So right now, we're going to practice the second one, comparative form, okay? So give a minute. Let me share my screen again. There we go. Comparative adjectives.
Okay, I'm gonna pick up one student, Franklin Bahania. Good evening. Could you please read this for me? Good night, night, night Mister. We use comparing to comparing to things to people to things and things. The formula is sukes mas ver mas more adjective. Okay, thank you very much. Well, it's obviously when we say that we're going to compare something, we compare two things, two people, two places. Well, the word in cell saying that we need to compare something. We're going to compare by using the adjectives. In this case, we need to learn something quite important. Take a look. This is the way that we can use to make one adjective from positive to comparative form. From positive to comparative form. As you can see, we have two examples. Two adjectives old and nice the comparative for as you can see we can make it by added the suffix er you see it the comparative older the comparative nicer older nicer they are in the second degree, competitive. Take a look. This is the rule number one. Maida Mora, good evening. Could you please read the rule for me? Uh, one one active in my error. error. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so basically the rule number one is about for the adjective, very short adjective, such as old and nice. They are considered one syllable. Please give a minute. Okay, so the first rule is about uh, aquellos adjetivos, como ustedes lo observan, son adjetivos monosílabos. En otras palabras, pues contienen una sola sílaba. Old, nice, pues es un ejemplo de eso. Dentro de esta regla, por favor, estudiantes, para hacer su forma comparativa a estos adjetivos monosílabos, pues les vamos a aumentar un sufijo. ¿Pueden ver el sufijo? Correct. A eso se le denomina sufijo, ¿ok? Si usted dice que son letras, ok, yo entiendo, son letras, la, las letras E, R. Correct. Uh -huh. Esta es una de las primeras reglas que debemos aprender, ¿ok? Old, older, nice, nicer. Aumentándole el sufijo E, R, pues pasamos del grado positivo al grado comparativo ok mayor mayor que simpático más simpático que nicer ok como usted puede observar aquellos adjetivos monosílabos que terminan ya en la letra e aquí simplemente aumentamos el sufijo r como nice nicer let's take a look the other one Ariel Quinto, could you please read the second rule for me? A 
adjective in the one ball must on one consonant double consonant must okay uh, thank you very much so once again we have two more examples big and hot okay big hot they are also adjective and they have one C level all right but what's the difference so basically this word of these adjective has a sequence estos adjetivos son monosílabos pero tienen una secuencia what is the sequence consonant vowel consonant ¿Cómo están pues constituidos estos tipos de adjetivos? Como usted observa, su secuencia es consonante B, vocal I, consonante G. Lo mismo sucede con el otro adjetivo, consonante, vocal, consonante. Pues para hacer este tipo, cambiar de positivo a su forma comparativa, tiene que cumplir estos dos requisitos. Ser monosílabo, una sola sílaba, y que este adjetivo cumpla esta secuencia. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Big, bigger. Hot, hotter. You see? It's very different from the previous one, right? Pretty different from the previous one. Let's move on to the next one. Mr. Velasco, could you please read this rule for me? La segunda regla. No, rule number three, please. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Once, Once or, or two syllable, adjective, and then, why, 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 yes, I-E-R, this is the suffix, mister. Okay, no problem, no problem, relax. So, in here, we have another kind of well is an adjective but as you can see both adjective such as dry and healthy both adjective and in the letter y como usted observa ambos adjetivos terminan en la letra y from positive to comparative we drop out the letter Y and we add the suffix I E R. Dry, drier, healthy, healthier. This is the rule number three. So far, three different rules, okay? Let's move on to the other one. Okay. Let me see another student to help me out. Okay, let me see. Lorena Medina, good evening. How are you? Could you please read rule number four and rule number five for me, please? One syllable and then Okay, thank you. Nice. Correct. So, if it, one adjective in the positive form ends in the letters ED, so we write the word more before it. Tired, more tired. Okay? La cuarta regla, si un adjetivo termina en su forma positiva con letras ED, aquí ya no podemos pues añadirle un sufijo. Tenemos que escribir forzosamente la palabra more delante de este and the rule number five are about for those adjectives that have two or more syllables long adjectives famous expensive famous expensive they are long adjectives a estos se los considera adjetivos extenso que tienen más de dos sílabas famous expensive so for this kinds of adjective, we write the word more before them. More famous, more expensive. Okay, and now it's time to practice the last part. 
This one are considered irregular adjective. Estos últimos se los consideran pues adjetivos irregulares. Se los denomina así porque no tienen ninguna regla. ¿Ok? Entre ellos o los más comunes pues tenemos good. Su comparativo es better. Bad. Worse. Far. Father of father. ¿Ok? So, in this case... These are all the rules about it. Let me stop and you tell me. Any questions so far about the rules? Any questions? No? Okay. Okay, please give a minute. Let me see the other part of this. Let's practice. Okay, here we have two very famous tower. Okay. Tower means, well, torres. So, let's practice the comparative form. In this case it says, which one is taller? Taller. ¿Cuál es más alta? Como usted observa dentro de la pregunta tenemos ya un adjetivo. Tall. So, we use the comparative form taller which one is taller so we said Eiffel Tower take a look which one is taller so once again you say Eiffel Tower which one is taller we compare with another thing Empire State's building you see well in these exercises, we can practice just with the word tool. Now, let's carry on another activity. I'm sorry, there's something wrong with this one. Pretty strange. Let me share something else. I don't like that one. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay, Aurora Silva, good evening. Could you please read the first part for me? The comparator is normally used if you want to compare things, people, etc. Uh -huh. When we compare using short words, one or two syllables, we have earned that at the end of the adjective. Uh -huh. Example is higher than me. Correct. My car, My car is cheaper than your car. car. Thank you very much, okay? Well, in this slide, we can see a new word. The very important word in this example is them. T-H-A-M. La palabra importante aquí al momento de hacer los comparativos también es esa palabra que está en rojo subrayado. Them. Que significa que. Okay? Aquí vamos a comparar. Recordemos que al comparar, obviamente, es dos cosas, dos personas, dos sillas, dos puertas, etc. Lo que sea. Y vamos a utilizar un adjetivo. ¿Ok? Pues diría yo que en nuestro idioma es un poco más sencillo esta parte de aquí porque solo utilizamos la palabra más. Más grande, más fuerte, más veloz. Pero en inglés no. En inglés es different. Recordemos las reglas. Por ejemplo, el adjetivo que tenemos en la primera parte es tall, alto. Si yo quiero decir más alto, para este tipo de adjetivos de una sola sílaba, pues le aumento el sufijo er. So, he's taller, él es más alto. He is taller. Y automáticamente, pues debo de poner la palabra them, que significa que, them. 
He's taller than me. Él es más alto que yo. He is taller than me. All right? In the second sentence, is the same. Aquí en la segunda oración estamos comparando autos. You see? Car. My car, your car. El adjetivo que estamos, que estamos utilizando aquí es chip. Es otra vez un adjetivo monosílabo. Cuando se habla de adjetivos monosílabos, pues simplemente añadimos el sufijo er. My car is cheaper than your car. Mi auto es más barato o menos costoso que tu auto. ¿Ok? So that's the way we compare things. Esa es la forma como vamos a comparar. ¿Ok? We compare. My car is cheaper than your car. He is taller than me. Now, take a look. So once again, this is the rule that we learned in the previous slide. Big, bigger, hot, hotter, thin, thinner, fat, fatter. If an adjective ends in the letter Y, don't forget that we change it for the letter I and then we add the ER. Happy, happier, funny, funnier, easy, easier, ugly, uglier. Okay, now, when we compare two things to people using long words, cuando estamos hablando de adjetivos extensos, recordemos, tres o más sílabas, ok, como el adjetivo que tenemos ahí, beautiful, beautiful, ok, let, let me start here, ah, Jesus, my camera, ok, so, try to remember when you were in the primary school, You remember when you were in primary school, right? Remember the miss? And you said, let's count the syllables. And you say, beautiful. Three syllables. Remember when you were in primary school? You clapping the words to count the syllable. It's the same here. Beautiful. So we have three different syllables. These kinds of adjectives, they are considered long adjectives. And the for long adjective, we need to write the word more before that. Let me share again my screen. You see the word more. Para adjetivos extenso de tres o más sílabas, recordemos, tenemos que escribir la palabra more delante de ellos. Maria is more beautiful than Jennifer. We have another word. Interesting. Interesting. Tres sílabas. This book is more interesting than that book. Este libro es más interesante que ese libro. Alright? And these are the regular words. Y aquí tenemos los adjetivos irregulares. Okay? Such as good, better, bad, worse, far, farther, little, less, more, much. Good. Now, it's time to practice. So please give me a minute, I'm going to share the link and you're going to complete the next exercise. Please give me a minute. Okay, so that's the link. Please, everyone, click on it and start the activity. For this one, you will have six minutes. It's enough time. Six minutes, please. Everyone, click on it, please. In case you need my, my email, this is my email.
Quickly guys, you get 3 minutes Mister, este, salió solamente mi nombre para poner el cuarto nivel inglés, pero no salió el correo para usted, o directamente ya está incluido el correo ahí. Ok, directamente, si no te pide correo, no hay problema. Yo no hay compartí problema. porque hay ciertos usuarios que les piden a veces el correo. Ok, ok. Yeah. That's no problem. Okay, so now it's time to practice. Okay, para aprender adjetivos lo vamos a aprender de una manera más práctica. Esto es como un tipo de evaluación. Recordemos, lo que estamos viendo el día de hoy es el segundo grado de los adjetivos que es su forma comparativa. Hasta ahora tenemos forma positiva que es la que comúnmente se escribe o normalmente se escribe el adjetivo. Tall short, strong, weak, fast. The comparative, depending on the adjective, if it's short adjective, so we have the suffix er. For example, you say tall, taller. It's strong, stronger. Short, comparative, shorter. But if the adjective is long, such as the word beautiful intelligent so we use the word more more beautiful more intelligent okay so now you students going to work in a group the next activity is graded la próxima actividad va a ser calificada por grupo no individual por grupo it's a group let me show you the activity I want you to make comparative sentences, as many as you can. Quiero que usted me haga tantas oraciones comparativas como pueda. ¿Va a comparar a Thomas con Sophie? ¿O quizás va a comparar a Hannah con Rory? ¿O me compara Rory con Thomas o Sophie con Hannah? Ya depende de usted. ¿Qué vas a comparar? Recordemos que el comparativo funciona para cualquier cosa. Animal, personas, objetos, lugares. 
Como usted observa, cada una de estas fotos, o estas imágenes, perdón, comparten algo en común. Tienen una mascota, tienen un auto, tienen casa, pues y quizás usted se dé cuenta de algo más. Pues me vas a comparar y vas a utilizar adjetivos en su forma comparativa. Por ejemplo, yo diría aquí, hablando de Thomas o de Sophie, yo podría decir Sophie. La mascota de Sophie es más grande que la mascota de Tomás. Ya le estoy dando un ejemplo. ¿Qué otra cosa yo podría decir? Voy a comparar los autos. El auto de Tomás es más barato que el auto de Sophie. O viceversa. El auto de Sophie es más costoso que el auto de Tomás. ¿Ok? Ustedes en su grupo van a encontrar cuántos adjetivos pueden utilizar. Mientras más oraciones, mejor. ¿Ok? Pueden comparar todo. Tal vez no me estoy dando cuenta de algo, pero ustedes sí se dan cuenta. ¿Qué pueden comparar? ¿Ok? So, for this activity, you will have 30 minutes. Media hora. As many sentences as you can. Tantas oraciones como puedan. Comparative. Comparativos. Comparative. ¿Ok? So now I'm going to share the picture. Lo que voy a hacer es compartir la imagen. So please give me a minute. Ok, so that's the link. Please click on the link and download, please, everyone download uh, the picture. Descargue por favor la imagen. Remember, comparative, comparative. Something else. Okay, let me show you something else. Probably you forgot, but I'm here to remind you. Quizás de pronto lo hayan olvidado, pero aquí estoy para recordarles algo. Cuando hacemos comparar, perdón, cuando trabajamos, cuando un objeto, persona o animal le pertenece a alguien, recordemos que podemos utilizar esto. For example, Thomas Dog, la mascota de Tomás. No se olvide, si de pronto el personaje se llama Harry hago el posesivo Harry's car el auto de Harry don't forget or you say uh, Susan Susan house la casa de Susan and so on right remember as many adjectives as you can no puede ser que un grupo, vamos a trabajar de seis. No creo que un grupo de seis me vaya a generar solo seis oraciones. En 30 minutos. Okay. Pueden utilizar tantos adjetivos como ustedes deseen. Costoso, barato, grande, pequeño, amplio, uh, fuerte. It's up to you. As many adjectives as you can. Necesito como mínimo que cada grupo me genere 10 oraciones. Mínimo. Si usted me genera 10 oraciones, 7. Si el grupo me genera 10 oraciones, 7. Para mí. Básicamente me está generando una oración por persona. Ok. So, as many sentences as you can. Good. So now, I'm going to make uh, the break rooms, so please give a minute. Give a minute. Can't believe it.
Okay, good luck. You have 30 minutes. Ginger Macías, Moreno, Nicole y Jiménez, por favor ingresar a sus grupos. Mr. Garcés, ¿tiene grupo? Sí, sí, tiene grupo, Mr. Garcés. Estás en el grupo. A ver, Velasco, perdón. Room number one. Grupo uno está usted. ¿Quién hace el amor, chicos, para... Hace un momento compartí ya el link para que lo descargaran todos. No, yo digo para pasar a las oraciones. ¿El link? No, no, me van a generar un documento.
Please, dear students, break out rooms. Do it. Teacher, eh, Luna, disculpe, este, están este, haciendo el examen, es que yo recién me llevo el internet. No, 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 we are in the breakout rooms. We are doing an activity in a group. Ya hemos comenzado una actividad en grupo. Yo estoy en un grupo, disculpe, Tisha. noches, me podría mandar a mi grupo, es que Zoom me votó y, y no, me, no me cogía rápido. Ok, miss, please, give a minute. You want me, teacher. Please give a minute. Ok, Miss, creo que usted sí puede ingresar porque no me sale ningún tipo de opción. Intente regresar a su grupo, por favor. Eh, Mister, yo no estoy en ningún grupo tampoco. Es que no me sale. Buenas noches. Y a los que, a los que ingresamos. Lo que sucede, no estimados tenemos... estudiantes, es que recién ingresaron o no sé qué pasó. Sí, porque yo tampoco estoy. Por mi sector está lloviendo, es más fuerte. Yo tampoco. Entonces, actividad. podemos hacerlo juntos, pues, para no perder la nota. Deme un momento.
Mister, ¿dónde enviamos el archivo? Solo, solo lo envía un integrante del grupo. O... Yes, Mister. Just one student send okay, uh, okay. the document to my email. Okay, dear students, thank you very much for having me today. Today, you can leave earlier than the usual because, please, the student that need to take the test, the one you took the last week, please stay. Don't go. Por favor, se quedan los estudiantes que no tomaron la prueba el jueves pasado. Los demás se pueden retirar. Thank you. Mister, una pregunta. Sure. Eh, esta, esta, esta actividad, actividad se la enviamos en su correo. correo. Correcto. Lo acabo de compartir ahí en el chat está. Ok, gracias. Yes. No, no, no. Just one person for each group. Solo una persona por grupo. Yes, please. Okay, dear students, thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Please, those students who need to take the test, please stay. Por favor, solo se quedan los estudiantes que no pudieron, por, algún, por, una, por alguna razón o motivo, tomar la prueba del día jueves.
Okay, so far there are 19 students. Too many students. All of you did not take the test the last week? Neither of you took the test the last week? Ninguno de ustedes tomó la prueba el día jueves pasado? No, no. No, mister. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. El internet está demasiado lento. 19 students. Unbelievable. 19 estudiantes. Okay, so before starting, please, I need you to keep your cameras on. Please. No, no. Si usted ya la hizo, puede retirarse, mire. No sé si lo envié. Porque, porque tenía problemas problema de internet. Pues ya tendría que revisarla después. Ok. Pero si usted ya la realizó, no hay problema. Porque también la envié un poquito tarde. No sé. Sí. Okay. ok. So, before starting the activity, please, I need you to keep your cameras on. Please, start the cameras. <coughs> 